Welcome back, knights. Are you ready for another adventure? Another quest? Uh, 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 achoo! Okay, knights, unfreeze and let me look up another one while the royal musicians come up here. Musicians? Okay, I have another joke, and this one is really good. What does a snowman ride to his friend's house? An icicle. <laughs> Get it? Icicle. It sounds like a bicycle. Sparky, have you been trying to tell jokes again? Well, I thought I had some good ones this time. What do you think, knights? I think you might need to stick to dragon work and let the comedians handle the jokes. Where have you been? I have been up in the northeast corner t turret. As you know, turrets are tall towers and important parts of a castle for observation and defense. They were very common in castles built in medieval times and in the Dark Ages. Speaking of Dark Ages... Do you know why they call it the Dark Ages? Actually, I do not. Well, it's simple. It's because there were so many nights. <laughs> Get it? Nights! It sounds like nights! When the sun is down, then it's dark. <laughs> yes, I think we've got it. I've got to find you a new hobby. Anyway, I was up in the turret hoping to see the king returning to North Castle. We have already found two pieces of the great armor, so I figured the king should be returning soon. Oh well, I think we should continue our search for the rest of the pieces. And that's where I come in. Do you have a third riddle for me to translate? It says, searching for peaceful shoes upon one's feet. Find a baby asleep where animals eat. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a very clean place for a baby. It sure doesn't. It sounds a little strange, too. I remember a story in the King's book about a baby inside a basket in the river. Fish are animals that eat in a river. Do you think that's the story we need to read? I don't think so. I, I think it needs to be something more like a a food bowl or bucket with some food in it. Hey? Hey what? No, hey, you know, dry grass. A lot of animals eat hay. What do you call something that holds hay for animals to eat? Uh, well, it could be a trough or a feed box or a... Manger! manger. Yes, a manger. There is a story in the king's book about a baby sleeping in a manger. I wonder if the royal players can tell us that story. 
Let's open the King's Book and see. O oh, little town of Bethlehem, I see it's right over there. Oh, Joseph, we've got to get to a room soon. This baby's going to come at any minute. Oh. Whew. Remind me again why we have to go to Bethlehem. Do you remember me telling you how I am a descendant of King David? Oh, yes. If I've heard it once, I've heard it a thousand times. Hey, Mary, remember King David? Yeah, he's the one that stood up to the giant Goliath. And he's my great, 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 great granddaddy. <laughs> I believe you have left out a couple of greats. And I believe you have left out when we are while we are going to Bethlehem. Well, if I, as I have told you once, I have told you a thousand times, before King David was king, he was a little shepherd boy in the town of Bethlehem. The Roman Emperor, Caesar Augustus, has mandated that everybody must return to their hometown. And since I am family of King David, we must return to David's hometown of Bethlehem. But we live in Nazareth. Oh, this is so inconvenient. But Mary, the Romans are in charge. And when Rome, we must do as the Romans. And when Nazareth, we must do as the Romans. And in Bethlehem, we must do as the Romans. So, we're on the way to Nazareth. To Bethlehem. Oh, okay. From Nazareth. Yes. Now, you're barefoot and pregnant and you've been riding my donkey the whole way. Let's get this trip over with. Yes. I'm losing my scarf. There's no room at the end. Oh, it looks like there's no room at the end. No. What? Well, all I see are no vacancy signs and no vacancy signs and no vacancy signs. There's no place to stay. Nowhere? Well, we do have to find a stable, a stall for our faithful steed. So, Let's go find a place for Goody and maybe we can get a stall next to him so you can have your child. What? I have to have my baby and lay him down? Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. That's exactly where Mary had the baby. It came upon the midnight clear. She wrapped the baby snugly and laid him in the manger. Meanwhile, shepherds were in the fields near nearby guarding their sheep at night. And knights, I need you to be the sheep in this story. Watch carefully. Every time I give you the thumbs up, make a bow sound. Got it? It sure is a beautiful night. It's more than beautiful. Oh, holy night? I think so. Yes. The sheep sure seem to think so. They are more excited than usual. Bah! It's like they know something we don't. Bah! Like something special is about to happen. Ah! Something special did happen. An angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds. Behold! Ah! <laughs> A Lord! Don't be afraid. I bring you good news. Wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. You know, David was a shepherd from Bethlehem, just like us. You will find a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly, there were even more angels praising God. Hark! The herald angels sing! Glory to God in heaven, and on earth peace among those whom He favors. Joy to the world! The Lord has come. Let's go to Bethlehem and see what has happened. the baby. Blessings to you on this silent night. We are shepherd from, shepherd from the fields nearby. If you look closely, you might be able to hear our sheep way out. If you, excuse me, if you listen closely, 
you might be able to hear our sheep way out in the distance. I am Mary. And I am Joseph. You know my great, 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 great. Joseph, not now. We knew you would be oh, here. An angel of the Lord told us that a Savior was born tonight. Oh, come all ye faithful. Come see the baby. So it really is true? Everything has happened exactly as the angel said it would. We just wanted to see it all with our own eyes. The Prince of Peace has come. Speaking of peace, I'm sure you are tired and you are ready for some rest. Come on. Let's go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Jesus Christ is born. Go down on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, Jesus Christ is born. So that's what the riddle meant. Wow. Jesus was born in a place where horses and cows eat. I wish we had cows here at North Castle. Why is that? Well, it's so cold here that if we had cows, we could get ice cream instead of milk. Oh, I think your jokes are getting worse. Thank you. So we are looking for shoes of peace. Yes, and the riddle said we would find it if we look closer at the story of Jesus' birth. I think these knights will be able to find this next piece of the great armor now. Do you know what our castle call out is? Let me guess. Armor up with peace? Y exactly. Remember, we put our fists on our shoulders like putting on a safety harness. When we say, armor up, then we will do this motion, as we say, with peace. Now let's put it all together. Armor up with peace. That's great. I have a nightly lesson for everyone. What is it? How do night see in the dark? <laughs> with night lights. <laughs> Get it? Night lights. <laughs> well, that does remind me that we need to teach the knights another important part of being a knight. Sometimes knights may need to scale or climb a castle wall. Since they are wearing so much armor, they need to be very good at climbing a ladder. Let's practice one hand and one leg at a time. Everyone stand up. Looks like they are all moving up in the world. Before you go, don't forget the banner verse which is found in Ephesians 6.10. Say it with me. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Have fun finding those shoes of peace, knights.
know, if Mary and Joseph were here at North Castle, they probably wouldn't have had many shepherds around. They may have shared the manger with polar bears instead of sheep. Have you seen a polar bear with money? I don't think that I have. That's because they all keep their money in a snowbank. <laughs> Get it? Snowbank. Oh, boy. Yes, maybe we need to put a freeze on our jokes and get back to our quest. Isaiah talks to the king's book, talks in the king's book about Jesus. He says, a child is born to us. A son is given to us. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. That's why we have the shoes of peace. That's right. Roman soldiers had to be prepared and have the right shoes to wear. All the best armor in the world wouldn't help soldiers if they couldn't stay on their feet. So Roman soldiers needed good shoes to help them move around quickly to keep them from stumbling or falling down? Correct. When we talk about the shoes of peace, we are talking about how Jesus lived and showed us the way to peace with God and with each other. And that's why our castle call-out today is Armor Up with Peace! Say that again with me. Armor, Armor Up, up with, with Peace! Great! Of course, we can't forget our banner verse. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His power. Let's say it all together. Be strong, strong in, the, in Lord the Lord and in, and in the, the strength, strength of, of His, his power. power. Yes, God gives us strength to stand firm. That is exciting. The king will be so happy that we have found three pieces of the great armor. When he returns from his quest, he may have a big party and knight you officially. You're right, Sparky. Our brave friends are looking more and more like real knights. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that you are God. Thank you that you sent Jesus to show us how to live in peace. We know the truth that you will always be with us. Help us to stand strong in the shoes of peace. Amen. <laughs>